What's going on guys? Welcome back into the channel. Today we are going to discuss how to get the specific superstar abilities and superstar x-factor abilities on any given player that you want to in Madden 21. Now I'm going to talk about two different things in this video. I'm going to talk about when you're developing players how to obtain the specific abilities that you want and I'm also going to talk about how to change the abilities that you have on a specific player. So stick around for that if you do want to hear a small explanation for how to change those things. So first things first here, let's talk about how you can obtain the specific superstar abilities and superstar x-factor abilities that you want on a player in Madden 21. First things first, I will say there is still some element of randomness to this. Um, it is not a 100% guarantee that you'll come out with double me on a wide receiver if you try to get it or mossed. Uh, but what I will say is that it is pretty much entirely dependent on the player's archetype. So just for a quick example here, when we go through these wide receivers, deep threat wide receivers receivers are going to have the ability to obtain double me and they're going to have the ability to obtain most. So what you'll see with all these players that are deep threat wide receivers like Juju Smith-Schuster, Godwin, Hopkins, uh, Jerry Judy, those guys all get double me and they get most. And the reason for that is because they are all deep threat wide receivers. And so if you have the highest archetype being a deep threat wide receiver, when that player hits a 90 overall, their X factor is going Going to be one of the X factors that is available to a 90 overall deep threat receiver. However, if you do the uh, slot receiver archetype, for example, you will obtain a trait like first one free. And there's a couple guys in our league, we're like six years in, that have obtained this trait, and one of them is Christian Kirk. Now, this isn't the worst thing to have on a wide receiver. I don't mind having uh, first one free on any of my players, to be honest with you. It's just a little difficult to actually get it uh, to be useful with a wide receiver to be honest with you it's more useful with a running back but if you choose to develop your player as a uh, slot wide receiver as you guys can see here then they'll have the ability to obtain first one free and traits that are related to being a slot wide receiver now if we go down through and look at any of the other wide receivers you could look at guys like uh, Amari Cooper he's a route runner and so his superstar abilities and his superstar X factor ability is centered around being a route runner so he has what's called rack em up and that is an ability that is available to a route runner player uh, you know things like double move elite in out elite these pertain to running routes and so it makes sense Sense. These are the traits that you'll obtain if you upgrade this player or you upgrade a wide receiver as a route runner. And so that's what I want you guys to pay attention to whenever you are developing your players. And we'll go through a couple more positions just to kind of uh, kind of highlight some of them that are pretty consistent with the players that you have uh, in a specific archetype. Likewise, if you develop a player as a, uh, what is it called, a... Um, physical wide receiver, oftentimes they are likely to get um, a trait called wrecking ball. I couldn't think of it for a second. Uh, they'll get traits like wrecking ball. They'll get traits like curl specialist and things like that. I upgraded Kamari Rogers because I wanted to see what it would be like to have a really nice physical wide receiver. So I've upgraded him as a physical wide receiver and being that he is now up to an X factor, he obtained wrecking ball. And it's pretty consistent. Every single time that you upgrade a physical wide receiver, they'll obtain a trait like wrecking ball. Every time you upgrade a deep threat wide receiver like DJ Chark, they'll obtain something along the lines of double me or most and so you might just need to do a little bit of research to determine what type of wide receiver obtains which trait I'm not going to go through every single one today but it is primarily determined based on their archetypes that is the main thing that you want to focus on you look at T.Y. Hilton here it is consistent he's a slot wide receiver and therefore he ends up with rack him up as his ability so let's go ahead and talk about a couple other positions and just kind of kind of go through uh, what there is for those guys. Now, some of the things, uh, the the quarter, you know, it, it's the same way at every position. If we go through all the quarterbacks in the NFL, guys that are pocket passers will have pocket passer related traits. If you have a guy that develops as a scrambler or a run and gun type of player, which when Kyler Murray hit a 90 overall, he developed as a scrambler first, and then we ended up taking him and building him up more as a field general because I obtained him after he hit a 90 overall. 
on. I built him up to a 96 when I was the Rams for a short period of time. Uh, he had previously gotten traits like run and gun because of the fact that he was a scrambler or an improviser type quarterback. Um, if you go and look at a guy like Lamar Jackson, he's going to have traits that are associated with a running quarterback. He's going to have things like... Uh, where is it? Dashing dead eye passers with have the ability to have perfect passer perfect accuracy on all throws while running outside the pocket no look dead eye gambler these are the types of things that are going to happen whenever you have a a scrambler or an improviser type of quarterback whenever you have a guy that has a big arm that is a strong arm quarterback they have a very strong chance of obtaining bazooka um, if you have a guy that is a, a pocket passer type of person which is what i tried to develop josh allen as they get traits like fearless uh, you guys can see carson wentz also has that omaha is something that a pocket passer type of quarterback would have uh, i guess field general is the the archetype that that would be about and so these things are all related all you have to do in order to determine which traits go to which types of players is to just scroll through the position and say, hey, you know, I want a guy that has pro reads. How do I give myself the best chance to have pro reads? Well, I upgrade that player as uh, whatever the archetype of that player is. So if I want my, my quarterback to have pro reads, well, then I'll try to upgrade him as a strong arm or a field general. Um, if I wanted my guy to have bazooka, then I'll probably have to upgrade him as a strong arm as well. Uh, and you can just go Go through each position and look at it likewise it's exactly the same on offense as it is on defense if you want to have a pass catching back if you want the, the satellite ability you upgrade your player as a pass catching back like christian mccaffrey if you want to have first one free as a running back, then you want to upgrade as an elusive back like Saquon Barkley. If you want to upgrade to something like protective custody or wrecking ball or something as a running back, then you're going to want to upgrade as a, uh, what's the term for it, a power back. Um, and those are that's pretty much what you're going to do. You know, Leonard Fournette, he upgraded as a power back, and therefore he has wrecking ball. As you guys can see, it's consistent all the way through on who gets what. Logan Steele, my running back that you guys might be familiar with in this franchise i upgraded him as a power back and he obtained uh protective custody because of it so it is very consistent all the way through we could talk about a couple other positions let's go and maybe take a look at maybe linebackers and defensive backs because that is pretty consistent if you upgrade a linebacker uh, as a pass coverage type of player, then they can obtain some of the defensive back superstar abilities and X-Factor abilities like Shutdown, which Devin Bush has. Uh, if you upgrade somebody as a field general, uh, I got Momentum Shift with Tremaine Edmonds, which, you know, he, this kind of seems like uh, uh, something that would go along with being a field general type of, of, of linebacker. Uh, reinforcement, you guys can look at zone hawk as a pass coverage type of trait, so on and so forth. Uh, maybe if we look at some of the defensive backs, I don't know that there's really too much of a difference here with these guys. I think that you have a pretty good chance of getting uh, just about any of the traits with these guys. I tend to balance out my quarters. I don't really upgrade them as a particularly strong man coverage guy or a particularly strong zone coverage guy, so I tend to have a balanced time with getting one trait or the other. Um, and so that is just what I wanted to cover a little bit is that it is primarily archetype based in order to obtain superstar traits and superstar X factor abilities that's going to be dependent like I said on the the archetype of it so if you need to get a specific one like let's say you want to get your wide receiver mossed then look through the wide receivers look to see who has mossed and then look at their archetype to determine what archetype they are so let's say I look at Chris Godwin he's a deep threat okay so that's probably how you get mossed if I go through and find somebody else that has mossed I don't think there are many others Stefan Diggs for example he's a deeper deep threat player so that seems to be the best way to do it. If you want to get a specific trait, you just look through the players that have that trait and determine what their top archetype is, and that's likely how you're going to get it. Now, the second thing that I wanted to address in this video is how to change superstar X Factor abilities and superstar abilities in the game uh, by uh, essentially editing the player. Uh, there's a way that you can actually change the abilities, and what I will say, I'm going to create a new a new franchise real quick for you guys just to show you. What I'll say is this is, uh, you know, in some way cheating. Uh, the only time that I would do this is if there are OP abilities in your league. Apologize for the announcer. There, If there are OP abilities in your league or something like that, 
Oh, man, I gotta turn off this dialogue. If there are OP abilities in your league that you don't want to have in your league, you can go ahead in and change them for certain players. Um, that's gonna be useful for you guys. You know, like in our league specifically, you give you know some of the players that have enforcer kind of make the game a little bit broken. So we might go through and change those abilities on those players. But the way that you do that is by going in and actually editing the players. So let's say we wanted to get Juju Smith Schuster to have a different ability. Uh, let's go through and look at, you know, he's got Slotomatic and Double Me. If I went ahead in and edited him and moved him to a different position, let's say I took him and moved him to quarterback, for example, uh, and then move him back from quarterback to wide receiver, that's going to allow me to give him a different ability. So you guys can see he already got a different ability uh, being moved to quarterback. He got Freight Train. <laughs> so let's go ahead and move him back to wide receiver. And it should give him a different ability. It's not going to give him a different one 100% of the time. Sometimes what it will do is it will give him the same one. But as you guys can see here being that he's a physical receiver instead of him having double me or whatever he had before he now has max security and matchup nightmare and so you guys can see that you can change these abilities by simply editing the player shifting them from one position to another there are a couple other ways that you can do it by just simply editing their ratings and stuff like that if i if i wanted to make him specifically a certain type of x factor i could make him so that his top archetype is a different archetype uh, like i said don't do this in your leagues unless you're you know you've talked with your other league members about it and you think that a, a player needs changed for some reason i know that this is something that people will do in their leagues and there are tons of other videos out there talking about how to do this and i think that there are other more you know more intricate ways of getting specific traits on players when you edit them and change them around so feel free to go out and look at those other videos on youtube if you want to get somebody something specific by editing them but other than that it is primarily dependent on archetypes like i said if you want to upgrade a player to a specific trait let's say i have a superstar player that's about to become an x factor if i want to get him a specific x factor pay attention to what their top top archetype is and that top archetype is going to make the difference on what their x factor ability is and what their superstar abilities are so hopefully this helped you guys out in some way uh, I have to thank the person that left a comment on this uh, on a previous video that suggested this. Uh, Slumdog, shout out to him for suggesting this video, him or her actually. Um, I will, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you leave a like on the video if this helped you out in some way or if it's valuable information to you. Comment down below with what you guys would like to see next. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one and I hope you guys have a great night.